Good morning, you guys. Today I am making sticky bun cake. And this is just one of those recipes where I put things together as they come to mind and keep my fingers crossed and hope for the best. Um, I don't have much to lose other than maybe a box of cake mix and just a few other ingredients. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. Uh, if you're watching this right now, then it probably worked out. So this is uh, what I think it's going to take. Um, and of course things can change, but I will keep you posted through this process. So I am starting with a box of French vanilla cake right there. You can probably use any cake, a white cake, a yellow cake, but I thought the vanilla would be a nice balance and kind of tie together the sticky bun theme. Uh, you will need some cooking spray. And I'm using a square, oh, I think this is probably a, I don't know, eight inch by eight inch, but a square, you can see right there, baking dish. I sprayed it, then I put a piece of parchment, and then I sprayed it again, um, because we're going to need all the help we can get when we flip it out onto that square plate underneath. And that's the vision anyway, and that's what I'm hoping for, and I hope it comes out just fine. And then... Um, for the sticky bun sticky, it's going to take half a cup of light corn syrup, one cup of packed brown sugar, and a splash of vanilla. Of course, I don't know if you can see that, but we are going to use chopped pecans. You know, you've got to have that. Um, but if you don't like nuts, you can substitute it with toffee bits or like a sweet roll type of cake. So these are the ingredients, oh, and then a bowl to mix everything, cake batter. Um, so this is everything that I think it's going to take. And when we get back, I will have mixed up the batter, get that sauce ready. So I will see you back here for the next steps. Here comes the fun part. It is time to assemble the sticky bun cake. I'm starting with one cup of pecan chips, as they're called. And I'm just going to sprinkle these evenly over the bottom, which will be the top, once we flip it out. Okay, that's good. Oh, I wanted to tell you also, make sure that when you bake this, you're putting it on a sheet pan before you put it into your oven. You have to practice safe baking, you guys. You don't want any unfortunate things happening inside your oven that will create a lot of problems down the road. So always practice safe baking, no matter what it is, no matter what you think it's going to end up looking like or rising like, uh, always put something, especially if you value your oven um, and value your time cleaning, always, always put something on a baking sheet. So there's my little advice for the day. So next, comes what I think is going to be my favorite part. We are just going to pour that hot sticky mixture evenly over the pecans. Oh, it looks so good already. I could probably just get the spoon and my daughter's at school, no one would ever know. I could just sit there and eat this, just like that. <laughs> Who needs to wear skinny jeans, right? And here comes the best part. Pouring that vanilla cake batter, which smells amazing, by the way. I've never used vanilla cake before, and I love it. So far, so good. So I'm just pouring this all over that sticky mixture and right before it goes in the oven I'm just going to scrape out the rest of this, put it on here and put it into a 350 oven. When we get back I will let you know exactly how long it took and flip this baby out and hope that it works the way that I am envisioning it. So. As always, keep your fingers crossed for me, and we will see you back here when it is time to check it out. So here it is, sticky bun cake. Pretty much turned out the way that I envisioned that it would. It was in the oven close to an hour, 
and I let it cool as long as I possibly could. I probably could have been a little bit more patient, but I'm not. So this is what it looks like. It looks delectable. I am really excited to give this a try and see how it tastes, but doesn't look to me like we can go wrong here. So I'm pretty happy. Anyway, um, I am going to go ahead and get some photos for the blog post. You can find this recipe over there with all of the details and some pretty pictures. But here it is. Let me pull back a little bit. I tend to go real close with my cameras and I'm sorry for that, but there it is. So hopefully you give this a try. I think it's going to be delicious. So we will see you next time. Bye.